Looks like somebody's been cooking. The cookies over there. Hello? Hello? Have you been cooking? Huh? Have you been cooking? Yeah. I saw that you cooked something. Yeah, what's up? Hi. Hey. Can you give me a hug? No, I'll give you a hug. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. See so the guys uh, parked out there. What kind of? The one in the Honda. Oh, shit. Kicked us out of the door. No, you're talking about the black Honda? No, yeah, I'm talking about the, uh, the black Honda. Yeah, the black Honda. Yeah, he's parked in that spot. That guy's license plate. So this looks good, sweetie. And broccoli. The broccoli looks good. Let's eat. Sweetums. It's over uh, in front of three. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's eat. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I shouldn't even mention it. He just has a very rude way of vandalizing other people's property, saying that's my parking spot. That'll um. That's not the way to do it. That's the wrong way. We've got some cookies. And dinner that looks really good, and some broccoli. No, it's not that one. It's the black Honda. Where's that at? He was the one who kicked the side of the door. I know, but where's it at? To the right. Or it's left? in front of three over there. Up here? Yeah. Oh. That's where I parked. But it doesn't have the little mark in front of it. So, because oh, so I just got here. Came out of that white. Yeah, he, I don't think that he's. Has a plain, the, I think he's pink, probably got a problem. No, the one that has the pink bling bling. No, that's a different one. Well, come on, let's get dinner ready. That's probably a dude and a girl that shares that. Right, give me a hug. Give me another hug. Yes, I know. Hey, right, let's get dinner ready, okay? All right. Well, it's it's something. Well, we're headed to Randall Mill Avenue, where I grew up. I grew up on this avenue. Um, that curve end of it. It doesn't curve anymore, they straighten it out. And uh, we'll be passing by the house I was talking about earlier, just the side of it. When I was a kid, this was um, almost like a dirt road. This is a little tiny four-way stop. I think it, they did have traffic lights back then. But we'll go down uh, Randall Mill and I'll pass by it and I'll just do this. Just kind of like that. And you'll see the house because I have to pick up another order. Um, we're going into Roanoke to pick up this next one. Enzo's Italian. Brought to you by Cape Cod. Crunchy sea salt and vinegar. Not bad. So a long time ago, this road used to curve to the right, right here. There's a beekeeper that lived back there. His wife left him and he killed himself. This is the house. It looks very different. But that was the house I was raised in right there. Most of my life growing up. Looks like it's um, still pretty good in shape. It's got welcome to the ranch in the back. Right off of Randall Mill Avenue and Maranatha Way. My friend Ryan lived there. Him and his uh, three brothers. There were four brothers that lived there. And that pond was where we used to run in there. Blocked by the, the shrubbery. That was a pond we used to all swim in. One time I was kicked off the island of that pond and my foot went onto a, it's like a tree stump and it cut the end of my foot. I had to go get stitches. And his brother Dane carried me over there to the other house because it went in pretty deep. I think it was a total of like 10 stitches or something. I don't remember how many. 
anyway, that's where I was, I was raised next to the other house, the, the bigger one, when I was younger. I really like that pasta painting. It's a place called Inzu's. It's really cute. dining section outside right next to it too. This other place is next door. I haven't been in there. I don't know if they do delivery. Busy lounge. We're in the heart of Roanoke right now. There's my baby powder mess. We got about eight miles to go on this particular order. So today about 8.7 miles from Enzo's in Roanoke to a little place called Old Denton Road, right off of Fort Worth. We'll drop that one off and prepare for the next one. Oh, and I still have some of my green tea. Listen to this really cool Elliot Smith on SoundCloud. And I think he tunes down to a D or he down tunes. And it's like a little intro right before he gets in. If you ever hear this live version of you make it seem like nothing or something, come. Uh, let me find out the title of this song. You make it seem like, I think nothing. Yeah, you make it seem like nothing come to me is the title. But he down tunes in it. It's really funny because it's a great little intro. Then he gets into his, you know, incredibly hard picking. Great musician. So we left Roanoke. And we're approaching Keller. We're on Denton Highway. This is a good time right now because it feels like air conditioning. Actually, we're entering Keller right now. We just left Westlake. But it feels, you know, like air conditioning out right now in this October, fall, kind of cool air blowing, you know. So these are the days to remember. Natalie Merchant song. I'm listening to some Elliot Smith. You make it seem like nothing. And then in parentheses come to me. Pretty good song. We'll be there to drop off their Enzo's in just a minute. The moon's I think it's wanting. Or is it waxing on? It's not completely half. A little more than half. Everybody knows, leave a comment. It's wanting or waxing. So we made it just in time for the train.
the fact that my finger was shot and some of that, but my goodness, I got a callus on my pinky from all those damn cameras so much. I don't understand how much work this is. Now, let me tell you something. Being a vlogger, it's not easy. It's about as hard as being a musician or an actor or anything. These guys make it look easy, but it's not. It's very, very difficult. But there are rewarding aspects to it. Like when a train passes. You, know, you got all these different options on what you can do with the actual shot. You have to think as you do it and f kind of feel what works. Anyway, we got to drop off this Enzo's. My dad lives right down the road from here to figure out the speed limit, but this guy has it figured out right here. Yeah, he lives right down this road right over here. Right over that way. Boy, this is Texas Motor Speedway right here on uh, Golden Triangle Boulevard. Actually, what's interesting about this Golden Triangle Boule Boulevard is my friend's dad was a minister. He used to take his little sports car around we used to ride in it. Back then, there was all these little turns and stuff in Golden Triangle. We'd drive around, not too fast, but you know, just to kind of be free. Kind of small and butt. He's actually right here. Pretty funny. These birds were doing some cool stuff right there. You can kind of see it if you look at it for a little bit. Anyway, it's a nice sunset. What kind of dog is it? Oh, she's a Yorkie. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let me, let me drop this off right here. And uh, you have a good day. Thank you. Uh -huh. I told her I did a, a YouTube, why well, do a YouTube show? The Please Subscribe show. And I was like, your Yorkie will be on the show probably tomorrow or the next day. She's like, okay, cool. I just got the dog only. I thought it was cute. Those little Yorkies are really cute. That was a really cool scenery right there. Little Christmas tree looking thing right next to these apartments right over here. That was really cool looking. <laughs>